right, let's see. Recording, audio is recording. Cool, so this is Garcia back at it again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen most of the time. So share screen here. And then we'll work on the, continue working on the worksheet that I gave you last time. So let's pick it up from here. So we're still talking about geometric series here. And we're talking about the, how much it's increasing by. So figuring out this, uh, this value for R, right? So I'm gonna put times R, times R. Uh, and we can figure that out by dividing. In this case, dividing the second number, one over 16, divided by, one over 64 and that's times four. So from this, we could see that we're multiplying by four each time. Sorry about that. Fix that real quick. So R here is four. So now that you know R is four, then you can set up an equation here that's gonna help you determine any value along this series. So we start with one over 64, and we're multiplying that value by four. And then we're gonna do that N minus one time. I'll just call it A sub N here. Now what I want to figure out here is how many terms do I have? Now I know the last one is 16, so I'm gonna plug in this, this 16 in here for a sub n, because I know that that's the last one. Uh, and so one over 64 times four. to the power of n minus one. All right, so I talked about this in the first video here, but uh, what you can do here is convert into a, a log. And before you do that, you actually have to isolate the base and the power here. So if you isolate the base and the power, you'll end up with having to do this, dividing that one over 64 over, or thinking about it by multiplying it by 64 actually, because that's actually what's happening here. So we got 16, the whole number, I'm just gonna go back and delete this, just look at, uh, We're just taking 16 and dividing it by one over 64. That should give us 1024. So 1024 equals four to the power of n minus one. So here I'm isolating. Then I'm gonna go ahead and convert it into a log. So if you remember a log starts off with base of uh, x equals y and then you could convert that to log base B of Y equals X. So in this case, you're starting off with a base and a power. You're gonna convert that into log of that power. Uh, log base B, which is four of 1024. And that's gonna equal N minus one. And this is what I'm using to convert, right? Uh, that's last semester. So once you have that, then I'm ready to figure out this and ultimately figure out the number of values in my series. Then I'm ready to figure out the sum of it. Uh, so log base, log base four of 
1024, we get five. So this is five and minus one equals five. I'm adding one on each side to get my value for n here is six. So once you figure out that that's n equals six, then you could go ahead and take the sum of that. Uh, let me go ahead and delete this problem for now. I'll do a different one here. Make that real quick, get some. All right, so write down the sum. Well, let's do two things. Let's also continue writing this in sigma notation. So n is one all the way to the sixth term of one over 64 times four to the n minus one power. And that's equal to uh, one over 64, which is our first term, times one minus r, which is four, to the nth power, which is six, all over one minus r, which is one minus four. All right, so I'm gonna program it just the way I have it there, one over 64, and then I'm gonna say times, and then this fraction here, one minus four to the sixth power, all over one minus four. You know, it gives me about 21.32. And then I'll also say the, the fraction answer of this. 1365 over 64. That's ultimately my sum here. So I'm going to stop recording this and then uh, share with you another video about another set of examples here. And uh, I'll go ahead and answer a question about uh, homework day three next. So stop the video and pause and stop the meeting.